Alright guys, this is Mad. First time doing a road to ranked. Okay, so we've got the mouse hole with the technician, the guard chomp. You know, I feel like we need to go with the current plan for this team. Which... Yeah? I feel like it might work. Uh, so we're going to go with the Murkrow and the Cyclozar in the front. Quackaball in the back. Actually, we're going to go with the Amoongus in the front. Quackaball in the back. And I guess Armor Rouge in the back, actually. And we'll see how it plays out. My guess is that they're going to go ahead and uh, set up Tailwind with the uh, Talon Flame that they got there. Which gives priority to flying type moves. Yada yada. So I'm going to shed tail first and foremost on him. And then I'm going to go ahead and go for a spore on the mouse hold. Just because with technician and all that, it can be kind of crazy. This is my first time ever doing a road to ranked. Oh, Focus Sash came in clutch on Amoongus. That got rid of your priority. Oh, wow. Way to go. All right. We're going to go into Quackaball. Now, I am running a Moxie Quackaball right now. And there goes that technician mouse hole, probably. I have been keeping up with the metagame a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and go for an Aqua Step on the Talon Flame. And we'll just go for the solar beam on the mouse hold since I've got to turn asleep anyways. Now this is also my first ranked battle, first double battle ever. So we will see how this plays out. Yep, you're good to go on that. Speed Rose, that's a knockout. Moxie's gonna activate. Who are you sending out next? The Rotom Wash. We're going to go ahead and go for the Aqua Step on the Mouse Hold. Yeah, he's Thunderbolt and the Amoongus. Alright. We'll see how this goes for us. One shot mouse hold, speed increase, mouse hold fainted, a 
attack rows. Now I know it might sound pretty silly. Ooh. Do I double into the Garchomp here? I'm gonna go for the liquidation on the Garchomp. And you know what? I'm gonna shed tail one more time. Oof, that's gonna kill me, I think. Oh, one hit on the Garchomp. Nice. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna have anybody to shed tail into. Guess we're gonna go for the energy ball. This is my first doubles team, so I have no clue what I'm actually doing. Oh, yeah, so he's stuck as a useless mod now. Hey, for a first doubles battle, I think that went pretty well. I do feel like that quack of all behind that substitute was the best choice possible by far. Uh, yeah, we'll continue battling. I might do. I know I don't have any background music going, but it'll be fine. <clears throat> Alright, so we got Grimstall for Prankster. Cyclazar. Amoongus. No. Cyclazar Murkrow. Into Quackafall. And Armor Rouge? Yeah, let's go with that. Now we know that the Shed Tail won't live in Earthquake from a Garchomp. But I don't know what else he can't live yet. Alright, so Shed Tail for Cy Cyclazar and Tailwind. Shed Tail? And we're going to go into Armor Rouge. Yeah, Armor Rouge. Two.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Okay. We're going to go U-turn off of him. Quash on that one. Let's see if Quackaval can take away the population bomb. Oof. All right. That's a lot. Yeah, that's just a wide lens mouse hold with technician. Yep. The Amoongus probably would have been a lot better to spore that. Mouse hold again. I want your mouse hold. Uh. Yeah. Obviously my opponent's done stuff like this before. I made a bad read. The way I had the team set up was a bad matchup for it. He's just got a very bulky Grim Snarl. Yup. I'm going to wind up going down this turn. Mainly due to the Spirit Tomb and Double Edge Recoil because I couldn't do anything else. And then the Grim Snarl lived. Now, bear in mind, I had no attack and no freaking special attack investment with that Murkrow. So, alright, we're one and one. I don't know if I just made a bad play. But... We'll continue battling for a little bit. Shedtel might have been the wrong play there, in all honesty, in the first turn. Okay, so... We're going to see how the Cyclozar Amoongus League plays out here. They are going to be a lot faster. But unless they do double spread moves, I don't think I'll be a, it'll be a problem for the Substitute or the Amoongus. Now the Cyclozar was built very fast and very defensive. That's just how it was done. Okay. Uh, 
obviously something's probably going to go down here. Either way. You know what? Let's just do it. Priority rage powder there. Oh. Let's see if we can't get it to play off. Yo, I got the effect spore off. <laughs> I was aiming to switch it to regenerator, but if I'm going to be running him this way, that's all well and good. I'm going to go with a low sweep on the slacking. He's choice specced. I'm just going to go with an armor cannon on the slacking as well, just to be sure. Oh, what's he throwing out in place of the slacking? A dragapult. Okay. We're going to go with the Aqua Step on the Cerro Ledge, and we'll go with another Armor Cannon there, not like I have a choice right now. Step. Speed rose. Unfortunately, yep, that's going to miss. Scarada. All right, so we're going to go for the low sweep on the Meow Scarada, and we're going to change Armor Rouge out to Cyclazar. Low sweep, bada bing, bada boom. Moxie doesn't affect Cyclozar. Ha ha ha. You know, I totally didn't add protect onto this team anywhere. But. don't feel like I'm gonna need it right now he's probably gonna go for dragon darts is gonna get me a free switch in with armor rouge got the moxie boost now 
that should tell into the moxie with the spore rage powder at the beginning is OP. Yo, put in work, Cyclozar. I probably should have invested more into HP on you. Let's go with it. All right. Let's continue battling a little bit more. We're ranked two, all right. Let's see. Oof. That's a rain team if I've ever seen one. I don't know. Do I even need to match Tailwinds? Uh... I'll bring you in the back just in case. We'll see how this plays out. Palafin and Pulper. All right. Started to rain. Okay. First off, Shedtail and Cyclozar. And we're going to support the Palafin, hopefully, or whatever comes in into the Palafin spot. Gonna go for the quack of all. Let's see who you bringing out. really funny as I do have a weather team in the works oh my god that can be bad yep all right so I'm gonna pull out the cyclozar just to you turn into the ferrigarath But first we're going to low sweep the Mascarada, get that little bit of extra in. And then just to finish it off, we'll U-turn if we can. Let's see how this works out. I think Cyclozar is going to go first. I'm just hoping he doesn't fully get the KO. Who are you tearing? The Mascarada into what? Ghost type. Okay, that's cool. Flower trick on to that. Okay, of course, it's a critical kit. Of course it doesn't now. Yep. We're 
we're actually going to go psychic on the Pelipper. I probably should be actually running a bit bulkier of Quackaball. We know Cyclozar is faster than the Mascarada. Before the Tailwind, at least. All right. I mean, I didn't blow an early Terra, that's for sure. Avoided it! Yes! Tailwind petered out. All right. Who you sending out next? Probably the Palafin again. We're going to just terrestrialize. Just to see if we can. And we're going to Dragon Claw the Palafin. Let's see. So that's one reason Cyclozar would have was so good in this matchup. I wasn't gonna blow that Terra super early. Yeah, he's bulky. Close combat. I'm done. There ain't no way around it. Not coming from a Palafin. I mean, that was a great rain team. I will give him that. That was a great rain team. I'm actually going to pause recording and go put protect on some of the mods that I was thinking about. But yeah, I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. We've put protect on some of them now. I want to say we'll put Armor Rouge in the back. I might want to switch that choice band for something else, but yeah, it'll be fine. Let's see how it goes. Just see how this goes. Nice. I'm jelly. Uh, we're gonna start off with a shed tail here. 
and a spore on the Garchomp. Rock polish, raise your speed, all right. Garchomp's asleep, all right. Aqua step there. We'll just go for a pollen pump there just to be safe. This road to ranked will probably be a little bit longer. <coughs> Yo, pro play. If I was going for the aqua step on it. <laughs> Alright, you broke the focus sash, cool. I'm gonna do the aqua step there. That's my speed up. Yeah, yeah, I know. Garchomp still fast asleep. Use pollen puff and poof. He's super effective. Gonna go for the liquidation on the guard chomp and we're gonna go for the shed tail again. All right, too much for shed tail to be done. There you go for the bulky guard chomp. Yep, I get it. Alright, so we're gonna have to go liquidation on the Garchomp again. We're gonna send the Amoongus back out. Yep, I know. I know. I know. That's fine. We are going to go ahead and liquidation the golden go once. And we're going to go ahead and pollen puff the Glamora again. <coughs> and but we'll get knocked out first. Oof, so close. So you're not specs. All right. <laughs> he is, so I need to take Trick Room off of him. Or 
I need to change it over to wise glasses, <coughs> but that's going to wind up taking him out. Yep. Pointed stones, yep. Aqua Step Ledge, Dragon Claw Glamora. Substitute's gonna fade, not gonna matter. Should have been doing aqua step the whole time, I do believe, trying to keep up with those speed raises. I don't think anything would have. No. I couldn't have stopped anything there. Unless I had pollen puffs. The quack of all stop the spot quack of all spot. But no, there's nothing I could have done about that. Alright. We'll see what this has to hold. So he's got to bring some. All right, so we're gonna enter that one. We're gonna enter him for sure. I wanna say Quack of All should be our go-to. And then Murkrow in the back. Quiver Dance, Nasty Plot, and Nasty Plot. Yeah. I think that's going to be the right play. Don't quote me on it, but I think it might be. So, we're going to Shed Tail first, and then we're going to Trick Room, because everybody here is going to be faster. No! Gonna be making rain flower trick. Oh no, it was taunt make it rain. So we're gonna go to Murkrow now. And we're just gonna imprison. See where that lands us. Minus two. All right.
Cracker Fall should be slower than your Miascarada, for sure. So I'm going to quash him and low sweep him. I don't know if that's the right play, but that's the play I'm making. Oh, Quash is going to fail now. Focus Ash. Focus Ash. Fortunately, that's going to KO us. Now that leaves Cyclozar with the choice band. We're just going to Foul Play and Thunderfang. And hope it works out. I really am hoping this works out. You're probably going to go to get rid of the Murkrow. But that's okay. We got rid of the Miascarada now. <laughs> oh. Well, Rotom doesn't evolve, so. Yeah, I knew that one was coming. So all in all, I don't think it's a bad, bad team. It might be a totally crap team. I don't know. But uh, I think we go. Time for one more game, right quick. We'll see. Opposing trainer has been found. Kev rank two. Hmm. Let's see how it plays out for us.
I don't know how it's gonna do. Heck, this is my first time on the ladder in Scarlet and Violet. All I know is Murkrow was... I brought Murkrow along for Haze. <laughs> That's about what I know. Noivern and Rotom. Alright. So... Let's shed tail. And then... Let's spore the Noivern. Yep, you can get the Tailwind off. Oh my god. Oh my god, Cyclozar avoiding that was huge. Let's see if we can get anything other than spoil. Let's see if we can get anything other than Blizzard out of you. Nope. Oh, Amoongus with the OP. Rotom faints. Who are you bringing out? Azumarill or something? Let's see it. Who you got? Donphan. I want one. Just being a punk right now. Oh, let's Rage Powder. Just in case the Noivern wakes up, let's Rage Powder. By the way, I am working on a different team. Noivern is still asleep. Orange oh, substitute faded. Cool. Amoongus fainted. Cool. Flamethrower ain't gonna be enough to kill. But. Ooh, sturdy. Alright. Let's go ahead and get that speed boost on Quackaball. Just to be safe. Noivern is still asleep. Attack Rose, Flamethrower. Well and good, Tailwind petered out. Magneton. Flamethrower. Aqua Step, maybe? Oh, who are you terrestrializing? Terra Steel? 
Nani? <laughs> Noivern woke up. Tailwind. Aqua Step. Moxie Boost. And Aqua Step Boost. Dirty. And there we have it. We did win three. We lost four, but we won three. That is all in all for a first team made that I'm planning on improving on. And another that we're going to wind up getting into. I feel like it's not that bad. Let's do one more just to be safe. My rank's gonna be transparent whenever I put the video out anyways. I'm pretty sure everybody else in this tier is using rental teams, so they have no idea what I'm doing here. Alright, they've got the Seru Ledge, they've got the Amoongus, they've got the Backscalibur, the Mousehold, the Annihilate. Ooh. So we are going to go Cyclozar in the front. I have a sneaking ambition Amoongus is going to be... I don't see a way without using those four. And if they just hard counter with Backscalibur Blizzard, then oh well. There ain't much I can do about it, so why am I going to fret? Amoongus and Mousehold... Cyclos are an Amoongus. All right. So first things first, we're gonna shed tail on the Cyclos are. We're gonna spore the mouse hold. Amoongus is just going to be annoying, so we're just going to go quack of all, and then when the time comes, we're going to start pollen puffing. Ooh. Good thing I invested in bulk. Oh. So, we're going to go for the low sweep on the mouse hold and the pollen puff on the Amoongus. Super effective. Substitute took damage for Quackball. Quackball substitute faded.
Low sweep. There went the mouse hold. I love the fact we got a dancing duck right there, even if my face is hiding it. Let's see if I can't fix that a little bit. Uh, 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 ooh. Ah, all right. Well, we're going to go battle. Aqua step there. Rage powder? Just in case of final gambit shenanigans. Mm. All right. We're going to have to do a turn of sleep. Go ahead and see if you're going for Fire Punch again or if you're going to go for Thunder Punch. Yep, cool. We're going to go Armor Rouge here. Aqua step the Annihilate again, or at least attempt to, and Flamethrower? Yep. Quick call, huh? Oh, you son of a gun. I really wish they would adopt more of a Smogon rule set to VGC. To where you couldn't have more than one Pokemon asleep at a time. I know you're going to go for the Shadow Sneak and probably the Spore again. No! Oh my god! Can we make it to Pokeball 4 in under an hour? Cyclozar woke up? Dragon Claw? Energy Ball? Quackaval fainted? Dragon Claw. Quick Claw activates. Spore. That is the only. If that is the only reason you win, I swear. Why am I attacking into an empty spot? Cyclozar woke up. 
Cyclozar used Dragon Claw. Yes! Yes! Ending on a high note. I do have a feeling we could do without the Ferrigoraph right now. But I don't want to deal without him later. In the ranks. Murkrow can be hit or miss right now. Yeah, we'll continue. Alright, cool. Now we're in Pokeball tier. Alright. Small fate break. Already? Mario Rickfall! Alright, so that's a Gengar, Dragonite, Hydreigon, Murkrow, Cyclozar, Murkrow, Quackaval, Armorood. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Because his lead's either going to be Murkrow Golden Go or Hydreigon Golden Go. So it might turn into a Tailwind War. Which then might turn into a Draco Meteor War. Gengar Murkrow. Okay. So we're going to go Shedtail and Cyclozar. And Tailwind? Ooh. Okay, we won that speed tie, I guess. This team really needs a fairy type. And I know exactly who I'm going to do it with. So we're going to go Psyshock there. We're going to double into the Gengar slot here. Might should have quashed him, but it'll be okay. Substitute faded. Oh, Focus Sash Gengar. Nice. Bye bye, Gengar. What are you sending out next? Dragonite. Yeah, we really need that. Alright. We're going to quash the Dragonite here. Dragonite's move was postponed. Foul play on the Murkrow. Very nice, very nice. No attack investment at all. That's Assault Vest Dragonite. That's Assault Vest Dragonite. I 
I don't want to reveal that he's choiced yet. We're going to go for the Aqua Step on the Dragonite. And we're going to go for the Quash on the Dragonite again. Stream speed on the Murkrow. Never mind on that. All right. So, Terra Water Aqua Step onto the Dragonite, Dragon Claw onto the Murkrow. Oh god. Haze? Okay. That's fine. We're gonna go for the liquidation on the golden go. Come on, do something crazy. Oh, Terra still, how predictable. I'm already going for an attacking move, dum dum. Ooh, so close. Mega Rain's gonna be single target. Oh, it's Thunderbolt. I don't lift that. I no lift that. I no lift that one. I got greedy there at the end. It'll be okay. I wanted one more match, but oh well. I guess somebody has something else in mind. Hmm. And yeah, we're going. All right. And as some of you were probably guessing, first off, Cyclozar down in special attack, up in defense. Didn't I mean he did kind of help out with that. Uh, his EV spread is very, very defensive based just for that substitute reason. Running the move, Shed Tail, Dragon Claw, Protect, and Thunderfang. And you know what? Eh. I mean. Sure, you can be the Paldean champion. Uh, he 
obviously the low sweep liquidation aqua step and as of now protect uh, he is holding the clear amulet choice band so with the choice band dragon claw and thunder fang are probably the best things he would pro he might actually wind up running leftovers here in a bit if I can find some uh, Moxie's the ability clear amulet obviously I don't want my stats lowered by freaking intimidate or anything like that so that's why I gave him the clear amulet obviously max speed max attack and he's not even level 100 he's level 78 and he's already got 210 speed 291 attack I mean not bad but uh, level 75 he is max special defense and max special attack with a little bit of investment I think into speed and a little bit into HP flash fire choice specs probably gonna take trick room off or something else um, he's currently a Fex Spore. I just really want to be able to get the Spore and Pollen Puffs and Clear Smogs off as quick as possible. Which might actually warrant me getting rid of Murkrow. Just because the two reasons I'm running him are Tailwind and Haze in case I don't need to bring Amoongus. Which Amoongus probably could have saved us a lot in the last one. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Probably not. Uh, and then, actually, armor, freaking Farigaraf is going to be dope whenever I do decide to use him more. He is max special attack with defense and special defense investments. He is level 56, running 89 speed and all that fun stuff. He does have Trick Room Protect and Prison Ain't Psychic, so if you're ever caught up in a Trick Room, you can reverse the Trick Room and imprison them from using Trick Room again. And it also imprisons them from using Protect, which I find very funny, because everybody loves to run Protect in VGC formats. I'm not used to running Protect that much. So he might wind up going to Assault Vest, actually. Um, then obviously Prankster, Max HP, Special Defense, and Defense evenly distributed. And he's running Tailwind, Haze, Quash, and Foul Play. This Farigaraf with Armor Tail is very, I'm not going to say underrated. But I might switch him over to Wise Glasses instead of Choice Specs and give him Wide Guard. He might actually do better with the Muscle Band or the Choice Band. But I'm probably going to have to use some pp ups on him but anyways that's the team i'm using that's the team i'm going to be continuously egging on to get better with and continuously trying to improve with um a quick change i might make once i get an ortho worm with perfect stats which i'm already working on um but once I get an Ortho Worm, I might switch him out for Ortho Worm. And instead of running for Rigoraf, I might be running Garchomp with Rough Skin. All that's depending, very depending. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy it. This is my first attempt, and this is going to be an evolving team. So. Please like, share, comment, do anything and everything you can. It really helps out. Love to see people's faces and all that. And y'all have a good one. Bye.